After the Boxing Day floods in 2015, uh, the bridge was damaged beyond repair and had to be closed. And the bridge actually uh, separates two sides of the town of Elland. So there was a, a very large diversion put in place and it was pretty critical. We got it back open again as soon as possible. But because it's such an important feature, Grade 2 listed building constructed in 1811, the local authority was keen that we actually put back all the original stone from the old bridge. But of course make it flood resilient has like a concrete core and then uh, is clad or the, the, the original stone is put back on both elevations and that's why we try to, to keep the character of the, of the bridge. It looks gorgeous now, it looks really good solid. And every brick was taken off and numbered and then everyone was put back. So that's nice. So it's still Elland Bridge. Lots of the original features, the voussoir stones, string course and parapet stones have been put back in exactly the same position. We wanted to do a very resilient structure. Uh, the bridge is founded in piling foundations, so if another flood like uh, 2015 comes again, or even harder, the idea of the design is to, to hold the, the floods even if the abutments get uh, undermined. It's the biggest job I've been involved with in my uh, career with Canal River Trust, and it's been a great achievement, and I'm very pleased with it.